this week, you know, we're going to the prelude pack. We did one through 10. We uh, reached that milestone. So now we're going to start to a little bit uh, different things, not necessarily just model based, different Kobe's, uh, what they mean, in inspirations, and what better inspiration could I use as the first example as the prelude bag. So Yo guys, it's Brother D, back with Mamba Monday. This week we're going to get into the What the Kobe series. Really short series. It started with the uh, Zoom Kobe 7. And it ended so far with the uh, Kobe 9. Not sure if they're going to do it with the Kobe 10, but I do have the three that they have released so far. So I do want to get into those really, really quickly. Won't take too much of you guys' time, so... Basically, with the What the Kobe series, they pretty much mashed up all the colorways, the themes, and the inspirations of that current shoe model and put them on one different sh one pair of shoes. Usually, the left and the right are different from each other. Um, colors are different. Patterns may be different. Laces may be different. Um, the checks may be different colors. Just little different things that make them unique and it's pretty much displays and shows all the different mashups and uh, colorways of um, both shoes of all, um, of all the colorways of the shoe that year so I do want to get into it really quickly uh, if you see my as you see my three pair right here the first one is the what the Kobe 7 this was the first one in which I think is probably one of the better ones not because it was the first one because it was the the cleanest looking and the ones that look similar but were different you have these right here. Immediately you can see the upper is pretty much like a tan and brown upper. You can see the difference in the pattern right here. You look at that right there. This is pretty much the cheetah one and this is pretty much the poison dark frog um, print. You have different checks. You have orange on this one, teal on this one. The sock liners are different. Purple on this one. You have teal on this one. Laces are different. Purple, uh, purple and blue, I guess, on this one. Then you have your yellow and orange on that one. So let's just take a look at these. Here's this shoe right here. Let's just take a look at that. Let's just take a look at this one. You can see the differences. Very minor um, things you can tell also. Kobe sign is different. Yellow on this one, red on this one. Um, the heel cup right here is a little bit different right here. Blue right here along this one, red right here. And that's the sevens. Next I want to get into the eights. These are pretty clean. If you like the eights, you'd love, you'd love these if you like to be, uh, not just, not flashy, but you just want to be seen. Very clean, really, very cool color. I can't really say clean because it's definitely a messy shoe. A lot of people say clean. Um, and not noting the meaning of what, what clean means or they just say clean for every shoe. Not every shoe is a clean looking shoe. It's a very messy all over the place shoe, but it is nice nonetheless. Um, one ironic thing is I actually got my What the Kobe 7s after these came out. It took me a while to hunt those down. The 7s were on eBay for a ton of money. So I got those after and they came out before the 8, but I got these after the 8. Um, paid a little over retail, but I was happy with the price that I paid. Anyway, here they go right here. First notice you can see this is pretty much a uh, red and green shoe. This is pretty much a blue shoe. Um, here's the difference between the uppers. The soles are different colors. Translucent all the way clear on this one. This has like a translucent green. Checks are different. Have a vault one on this one. And you have that red one on this one. Laces are different. So you can see yellow and orange, red and blue. Another cool thing on the back is you have your Kobe sign on this one, not on this one. You have Nike on this one. This is obviously this piece is from the Mount Mercurial inspiration. But then you have your Nike sign on this one. Inside you have uh, this colorway right here. And on this one, you have a different one. On this one also you have the uh, Kobe signs on the tongue are different as well. That's pretty cool. So those are the differences between these two. 
Um, actually, the tech, the text, the texture on the checks a little bit uh, different. If you can see that right there, I'll let you check that out. A little bit different. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, so that is the A. And lastly, we have the Kobe 9 with the Kobe. This one is the pretty much one that's the most similar, both shoes. Not much difference between the two. You have your, uh, I guess this is orange and green and a little bit of blue. Both have uh, yellow uh, vault check borders around the gray swoosh, orange on the inside, uh, border around the swoosh. The patterns are different right here. You can check this really quickly. Different right there then, and right there from this one right here. It's pretty different. The uh, sutures are pretty much the same right here. So this shoe is pretty much, it went a, a different route. It's um, pretty much a similar shoe, both shoes, instead of them two completely different shoes. I guess because it was a high they did that and they didn't want you walking around with two high top looking sneakers that looked completely different from each other. One thing I want to show you is if you had if you own Kobe 9s, you know the back of the tongue tells you the name of the shoe, whether it be the influences, the masterpieces, or what have you. On these right here has all the different names on the tongue on each one. I thought that was pretty cool. So you have a mashup of all the names of all the high top Kobe shoes on that tongue. So I thought that was pretty neat that they did that. And these are it. Um, that's pretty much it. Not many other differences. If I had to rank them, I think I'd rank them the sevens first, then the eights, and then lastly the nines. So that is in the order they did release. Not knocking each one. I just think, and I don't think Nike took a step back. I just think they went in different directions, and. The first one was very standard. This one was a little bit more wild, and then they went extremely standard with these. This actually could have just been a regular colorway instead of a with the Kobe, but if you have a lot of Kobe's, if you've seen a lot of Kobe 9's, you can pull the inspiration from each piece. And that's pretty much it, guys. These are the with the Kobe's. Um, I do want to give a shout out to my man Eric and Charity. Those two guys are the winners of the Mamba Monday contest. I will be reaching out to you guys. If you see this video before I reach out to you guys, email me your um, shirt and short sizes so I can send you your prize. You guys are the winner. And I will be using one of you guys, Mamba Monday, um, inspirations of what you want me to do to Mamba Monday. I will be doing it next Monday. It will air next Monday. So that's it, guys. Again, this is Brother D. If you like the video, please press like. Any comments or suggestions that you do have, please leave them down below. If you have a Mamba Monday that you want me to do, Please leave it. And that's pretty much it, guys. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Brother D. That's B-R-O-T-H-A underscore D on Instagram. You guys take care. Peace.